Hello, uh, fragment application should work as the following. You see uh, implementation using smartphone and tablet. So on the left side you have uh, list fragment. Uh, when you press particular elements, we see uh, the text, the title for the person has been changed uh, as a picture and uh, web view. So the same for any selections you can make. And the same scenario for the tablet. For the tablet you have more space and you see that um, the web view is arranged on the right side instead of just uh, going to the bottom side. And the same functionality for, uh, for the rest. In this particular instructions you will receive uh, step by step instructions how to implement uh, detail list and how to implement uh, right fragment with the uh, captain name. Then you will update project to have a full functionality. So let's get started. So on the left side we need to create a list frag fragment where we have a list of items from Star Trek. On the right side we will have a detail fragment that will be uh, filled with the selection of this specific item. Go back to the program. Uh, so right now, uh, right click, we'll create a new Kotlin class uh, list fragment, list frag. And this class uh, will extend list fragment. And in this case, we need to follow advice, change to constructor invocation. So another class, uh, another will be detail, detail frag. And detail frag will create a little bit different. We will create new uh, fragment, fragment blank. Right here, detailed frag. It will be fragment detail layout. Finish. So right now we created uh, Kotlin files and let's uh, create here uh, modify activity main XML by uh, designing this three uh, fragment together. So we'll create it after deleting hello world. I guess I didn't delete it. I just had to delete it. So but the first program will be on the left side, which will be a list fragment. So make sure that um, you will expand it approximately to half of the screen, or approximately half of the screen. Probably have to a little bit Make it smaller a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it will be uh, one fragment. Another fragment will be on the right side, detail fragment. And detail fragment will uh, fill the, the remainder. All right. So yeah, maybe we can work a little bit uh, to polish this design. But uh, when you switch to the code, uh, you'll be see that uh, both fragments uh, align. Uh, but we have this red squiggly line to say that fragment can jump um, without uh, constraints. So we have to go back and um, infer constraints. So we have two containers after this, uh, and the first container is the list fragment, second container is detail fragment. So let's start with the list fragment first. So we try to generate a missing method uh, from this code. We will go to the code. So code uh, override method. So we'll use on activity created. 
on activity created method. Another method will be using on list item click code uh, generate uh, override method on list item click. It will be also alphabetically arranged on list item click. All right. So first of all, uh, before creating the list of items, we have to create an array of uh, a selection. So it will be um, values will be array of those five choices: Enterprise, uh, Star Trek Original, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager. The next we will create adapter for uh, our list fragment uh, with the following uh, three parameters. Uh, current activity, uh, simple support layout for spinner uh, drop-down item, and values we just uh, declared. And then we have to assign a list adapter to this adapter. And list adapter is uh, actually um, the standard adapter from our class. All right, so this is all about one activity created. So we will be back to on item select uh, on list item click method when we finished with the detail fragment. So on detail fragment uh, that was generated, we will be in this point will be displaying only the name of the captain. So we have to go to fragment detailed, and actually we have here the text you already right. So we have hello blank fragment I guess. So go to design text. Okay, I will probably delete this. Uh, and create another one. So because I, I want this to be in the middle, something like this. Convert frame layout to constraint layout. It will be uh, in this case I will be able to do whatever I want with this feature. So I will put here uh, captain captain ID. Uh, then I will increase increase attribute size. Uh, the size will be, for example, 36 uh, single pixels. And uh, I can make a default value for this for this uh, as well. Uh, I can write the text here. Uh, Jonathan Archer. Jonathan Archer. This is one of the selection. I. I make for the first one, and I make it in the middle. I will set automatic constraint finally. Uh, I can run the project and uh, and check what I currently have, and see uh, how to connect both layouts together. So I'm using a uh, tablet emulator for this project. So we uh, made some adjustment for the uh, text captain. We made a layout with match parent and uh, layout height prep content. So we like uh, a better visibility. So we have uh, on the left side the list from Enterprise to Voyager and Jonathan Archer is default uh, for this. So right now you have to do selection. So once we click on the item on the left, the name of the captain will be changed. Let's start this. So go to detail fragment and write the method to change the captain name uh, automatically. So for this purpose you will write function set text. So what this function will be doing? So we will be accessing a uh, captain field. I don't know why it's have a T here. Let's have a captain, right? Uh, so we will uh, accessing captain field from the fragment XML and dot text, and we set to the, to the item from parameter. It's 
this method just update this method uh, update the captain text field and finally we need to call this method from the list fragment uh, from the item on list item selected so first of all we get uh, item from the adapter the item that was selected second we will write uh, we will get uh, fragment manager so fragment manager can be found by find my fragment by id and it's important to remember your id that you're looking for so if you go here to uh, to activity main you'll find that uh, retail fragment is a fragment 4 in my case so that's maybe important to remember and that's why we'll be using here fragment 4 so if uh, the manager is not now and manager uh, is in layout this required also to check in case uh, manager is not uh, available so sorry not uh, manager not zero but now I'm sorry so after this we will change uh, the text so man dot set text and in set text we will be calling uh, the method get captain with item with item so we require to do this kind of identification then this method is available here because we need to identify fragment uh, by uh, id and also as uh, the kotlin file All right, so this is was actually everything is done. Let's uh, build the project and see what kind of error we have. And list frag. Uh, only save or non-null inserted calls allowed in nullable receiver. Oh, yeah. So we uh, have to probably to be asserted here that only null, non-null inserted calls allowed. So we will be replacing here with uh, two explanation marks and run the project so John and Archer was default by Enterprise Voyager is Catherine Genet Deep Space is Benjamin Cisco uh, Next Generation is Jean-Luc Picard and Start Track is James Kirk and Enterprise is again John and Archer so this is uh, how to start the project. So please uh, note you have to continue work with the project and complete uh, step two to add images. Uh, according to the selection, for example, if Star Trek is defined, uh, James Kirk image will be here. And adding also the web view. The web view will be consist of a uh, web uh, view that presented by link uh, to the particular um, image. In this case, image and uh, and web view is uh, related to Benjamin Sisk. If you have any questions about this code, so please let me know. Thanks a lot.